hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tolu Shei Daniel if it's your first time on my channel you're absolutely welcome kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the bell sign so that you can get notified whenever I post a video so today I'm going to be talking about how to say no without being a jerk yeah you can say no you're allowed to say no you don't have to always do what people want you to do every single time so definitely keep watching So I know that as Christians or as, you know, human beings generally, we are always taught to be kind, to help others and all of that stuff. And truth be told, it makes you a better person and it makes your life easier if you are kind, if you are, you know, just nice to other people. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is that human nature is just, you know, somehow some people will take you for granted when you are always the nice person, when you're always the nice guy, when you're always trying to, you know, help them and all of that stuff. For example, you are in an office and your colleague is always saying, oh, anytime you, the moment you stand up to say, oh, I want to go get my food. Your colleague says, please, can you help me buy my food today? You buy it today. Tomorrow, please, can you help me buy my food today? You buy it tomorrow. And then what? They turn you into the office errand girl. Fam, that is taking you for granted. That is no longer being nice or being helpful. That is someone taking you for granted. And also, situations like this, for example, you have family members and all of that stuff. And you help them once in a while and everything like that. But then they begin to take you for granted every single need that they have. They ask you for it. Ah. Auntie me, I need credit to deal. Auntie me, please, oh, I won't buy that out. Auntie me, I want, you know, and all of that stuff. And they keep coming and coming and coming. Also, people asking you to do things that, for example, you have the skill set to do something. And people feel like, oh, because you're my friend, you, I don't have to pay you for it. Oh, because you're my friend, I don't have to, you know, and all of that stuff. And taking that thing for granted. And they know quite well that that is what you used to put food on your table for example you are a tailor and every single time your friend keeps coming to say oh please can you help me sew this dress or rem ya tata and then you sew the dress next time they come again and they don't pay you a dime that is taking you for granted so how do you say no without being a jerk Number one way you can say no is, I'm sorry I might let you down this time. Yes, it's okay for you to say, I'm sorry I might let you down. Now, you're not exactly saying no, but you're telling the person that I'm not sure I will be able to meet up with your expectation at this time. For example, somebody says, oh, please now, Shabi, you're my friend. Just help me sew this dress. I want to wear it to my, my colleague's wedding and all of that stuff. You have other clients you are working with. You have other things that you are doing. So you just say, I'm sorry, I might not be able to meet your need at this time. I have a lot of things on in my hand right now. I have a lot of things that I'm doing right now. So I might not be able to meet your need at the time that you need it. So it's better, you know, you find an alternative or whatever. Number two way you can also say no is, let me refer you to someone else. For example, somebody keeps asking you, ah, please oh, do this thing for me, to, um, 200 naira or beg, do it for me, 200 naira. And you know... In your heart of hearts that you are supposed to be charging two thousand naira for that thing or two thousand dollars for that thing but because this person has been you know your friend and all of that you keep charging that person that same amount but at this time it is not comfortable for you it is not feasible for you to be able to do that for that person then you say ah i don't think I'm be, i'll be able to do this because can i refer you to somebody else when you refer them to somebody else fam you have just won why because the person will know your value when they go to somebody else and they have to pay for that service that they've been taking for granted that you've been doing to them you've been doing for them for free now i'm not saying you should not help people i'm not saying that you should not you know um give your friends discount and all of that stuff but it gets to a point where people take your services and take the things that you do for them for granted and they now see you as somebody who would always be at their beck and call so when you refer them to somebody else that also does that thing it makes them understand that this is a service that is actually cost this amount and you actually do need to pay for it. So they'll value your services more and definitely they'll be willing to pay whatever it is that you ask for the next time you ask for it. So it's important for you to, you know, 
tell them, okay, I'm going to refer you to somebody so, else. Another way to say no without being a jerk is to say, I can't do that for you, but instead I can do this. Yes. So, for example, someone says, please, can you give me 50,000 naira? I will pay you back at the end of the month. You don't have 50,000 naira to give. You can't say no, right? The only thing you can do is, oh, I don't have 50,000 naira, but instead of that, I can give you 10,000 naira and you can pay me anytime you want. That's how you say no without being a jerk. Or you say, oh, I think maybe when my paycheck comes, I will give that to you. Your paycheck also will not come to the end of the month. So that's like saying what? That's like saying no, but you haven't actually said no. So that's exactly what, you know, it means to like, find your way out of you know problem and all of that stuff refer people to somebody else tell them you might let them down people have to know that you are human too you can't always meet their needs i may let you down i might not be able to meet your need at this time oh i might not be able to do this for you at this time why not meet somebody else or let me refer you to somebody else who might be able to help and all of that stuff so you can say no without being a jerk you can say no without saying no outrightly and the person feels hot and sad and bad and everything like that there are ways to say it be calm let the person understand that you know i can't meet your need at this time fam i'm sorry but i can't for example that lady who is always saying no oh, go and buy me food please buy me food and everything and you're like oh i'm sorry at this time i want to sit there and eat my food i'm not bringing my food back to the office immediately i'm going to sit there eat my food relax and you might be hungry while i'm doing that so is it that you come with me pick your ass up from your chair <laughs> i'll come with me and let's go and eat or you stay hungry till i get back you choose so yeah that's what i thought to share with you guys today these are easy ways for you to say no without being a jerk be gentle be calm but still express your feelings and let the person know that you can't always help. You can't always be there. You are human too. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you even doing? Kindly subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell sign so that you can get notified whenever I post a video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.